Hey guys and gals, it's Sunday morning. Uh, I went to sleep rather late because I had an idea for something to write. So I had to just sit down and write it down. So I went to sleep rather late, but I'm actually feeling quite refreshed, surprisingly. Um, I guess it's because I wasn't stressed out about everything, so yeah, I'm feeling rather good. Right, so today I don't really have anything on, um, so... I'm going to have breakfast and get dressed. I'm not going to show you breakfast because, uh, well, it's just going to be the same as yesterday. You've seen it before. And then, I'm probably just going to sit down and focus on the online portion of my units. Let the day begin. So, I've been wanting to get back into gaming again, but I've been having a number of troubles. One of which is that I had trouble installing a new version of one of the games that I have called Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to give this a try. And if I can get it working properly, with all the mods I want to have on it, then I might just have something that I can make a series about. The game updated properly, 1.3, that is the current version of the game. Whether I can get my mods working on it is another matter, and whether I can get the audio working without it making popping noises all the time while I'm trying to play uh, is another thing entirely. Let's see, some of them are working. Distant object enhancement, cable alarm clock, good. Transfer window planner. Final frontier, let's see. And I'm going to just randomly put something on the launch pad, see if I can find other see if I can find other mods that I've gotten here. There should be there should be cable construction time, but I can't see it. And it's shy, and that's nice. No, no construction time, that's upsetting. Okay. Also, the UI is way too big. I'll have to go into the settings and fix that. Okay, so Kerbal Construction Time, one of our mods, isn't working. Uh, you probably don't understand any of this. It'd be easy to explain uh, in a video dedicated to this, which would probably end up being the first episode of the series. But uh, I need to get working first, so... Um, Let's try and do that. By the way, it's Father's Day today, so uh, happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm sadly not doing anything for it. I'm not getting a, parent, a present for my parents or doing anything special this year. Just been discussing with one of my friends. Um, in future, these vlogs might actually have an intro. Um, it won't happen yet. This will be you know, several days from now, uh, at least. Uh, because, you know, this intro needs to be made, then it needs to be revised and looked at, and, you know, sometime within the next two weeks, hopefully, um, uh, there will be an intro to these vlogs. I've spent the entire morning, uh, trying to set up Kerbal Space Program and all of its mods. I finally managed to get it working, except one mod called Kerbal Construction Time. Still on the blink. It's currently 1.36, so I better pop on some slippers and head down to the dining hall before I lose my chance to get lunch. Lunch is always, uh, Sunday lunch is always brunch. Yeah, I was about to rhyme. They always make brunch on Sundays, um, which usually consists of sort of breakfasty things. So there's baked beans, there's spaghetti, there's waffles, and there's also hash browns, mini sausages, and bacon. Although, in my opinion, the bacon's not actually cooked very well. But, yeah, this is what I have every, every lunchtime on Sundays. Hey, steve When a friend gets up to refill their drink while you're mid-sentence, when you're discussing something that you enjoy, you know that your topic isn't actually all that interesting. steve is just gone. I wanted to record more conversation with him, but um, like I was saying to him, it's just not convenient to set the camera up uh, and record conversations with friends at the dinner table. Because my phone is in this weird uh, case, which has, it's sort of got a stand so that you can, so that I can, uh, I can set it up. 
with the screen facing outwards. I can't record using the rear facing camera because if I tried to set it up, that's what you'd see. And otherwise, if I want to set it up so I can record things just sort of static, then it has to be like this. Um, and I can only see it when it's facing me and when it's viewing me, uh, which is not really what we're going for here. And as I said in an earlier vlog, I can't just do this all the time because I need both my hands for eating. I think I have a solution though. At some point, I'm planning to go into Perth, do some shopping. And while I'm there, I think I'm gonna try and find a, a cheap tripod, just a mini tripod for my phone. So we'll see. If I can do that, then it should be easier to film these conversations with people. Shout out to Steve-O for being in the vlog and not complaining, though I technically didn't actually ask if he wanted to be in the vlog. It's a bit after two, so I'm gonna go back up to my room and edit the first half of the vlog. It is 4.20, which means it's time I went off to the gym. And I'm actually gonna do it this time. I'm not gonna get distracted by YouTube videos or editing. Let's get changed and uh, let's get down to the gym. Man, that was intense. <laughs> it is about 6.15 right now. I've been on the treadmill for almost an hour and a half. Uh, I went on for an hour, took a short break, then went for another 20 minutes. I would have gone for 20 minutes immediately. But, the last minute of the first hour, I, so I decided to push the treadmill up from 12 kilometers an hour to 18 kilometers an hour. So I was running at 18 kilometers an hour for about a minute. I say running. I kind of mean stumbling. <laughs> but yeah, that was incredible. Whew. So it goes from that. I didn't really manage to keep pretty fast for the entire hour and a half. Um, there were long, 10 minute longer stretches of me just walking at slow speeds. <sighs> because for some reason I'm a little out of puff. But yeah, it went well. It worked nearly as well as Friday. Oh, my arm. Oh. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to my room and uh, figure out what the face to do for dinner. One thing's for sure, it's probably not going to be as bad for me as yesterday's dinner. Mainly because I've actually run out of Pringles and Toblerone. Okay, I found, well, it's quite dark. Okay, I found a recipe for steamed rice. So I'm gonna get changed and uh, then I'm gonna give it a try, I think. Hmm. Oh, that actually worked. I was panicking for a second there. I'm only putting salt in there because that's what the recipe says. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how much salt to put in, so I'm just going to sort of just like that. Um, and I'll just make sure not to put any salt on um, once I've finished. Probably should have done that with the mitt. It says a teaspoon of salt, so I probably got that wrong. So the recipe says to let it simmer. Uh, I don't know what that means. I turn the hot plate down to the lowest setting and whenever I do it, it starts to boil again. Let me put the lid back on. I have it on the lowest heat possible on this stove, so uh, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. Um, recipe recommends setting a timer for 16 minutes, so I've done that, so uh, I'm gonna wait and see how it goes. Worst case scenario, I guess I've learned a lesson in cooking rice. Okay, so it hasn't been 15 minutes, but I don't know about you, but I think that's done. I've seen my parents cook rice before and it looks about like that when it's done. So, I'm gonna get it out, and I give it a taste test. 
just realized a thing. My parents have spoons for this kind of thing. As in big <laughs> scoops. Oh, have, never mind. I do. Okay, let's see. Of course, this might actually end up being too much rice. Oh, it is actually, actually, it is a little bit. Still got a little bit of moisture, so I'm actually going to leave it on for a little bit longer. So, it's the end of the 15 minutes actually. I just poured water into my bowl. It's the end of the 10 minutes, so I think it's time to actually get this rice out. Let's do this! Um, just put it down. I'm really nervous, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh boy. Slightly burnt. No the rice. It actually doesn't look that bad. Um, I think I've got too much of it. No <laughs> wait, I need all of this. I think next time I should just make half as much because this is a lot. And it did cross on the bottom. Apart from that, this went brilliantly. This went brilliantly. Just look at that. Mm. Just gonna. Oh yeah. So, I now have dinner. I also now have leftovers. The first time ever I'm living on my own, my own, I have leftovers. So I'm going to put that spare rice in the fridge. You know, the fridge it probably doesn't need to go in the freezer. I can just have it tomorrow. And I'm going to put that rice in my stomach. Get a container of some kind for the rice. Uh, that's a bit big. Um, Let's see, what's a good container? Hmm. hmm. How about that? That might work. Let's give it a try. Hmm. It has burnt a little bit. The rice at the bottom of the pan has. Uh, so it's a little bit orange. Apart from that, I don't think it's that bad at all. That's a very good recipe for steamed rice. Wow, I'm saving that. That's my recipe now. I'm keeping it. That is at least part of. Yeah. I was almost about to say that is at least part of yesterday's dinner, but I'm pretty sure that's not correct. And that is part of tomorrow's dinner, I believe. Okay. Let's see if it's good. Um, I think they won't put salt on just yet. Let's see. I think it was right. Hey, hey, there we go. I could probably get a better angle, but, um, I'm lazy. Mmm. This is really good. It does need a little extra salt. I'll tell you the one thing it doesn't need. They have a davager of these. I'll tell you the one thing it doesn't need, tomato sauce. Rice tastes terrible with tomato sauce, believe me, I've tried. But that, I think, for once, is a successful meal. Just finished editing the vlog, and uh, yeah, it was a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, in the morning, when I started editing the first half earlier on, I thought it would be really short, but that, that rice segment added a lot to it. So, I never ended up working on the online parts of my units, which is probably bad, um, but I'll do my best to catch up. Um, Tuesday afternoon, I'll just sit down and I'll do what I can to do them all up, he said, knowing that that's exactly what he did last week. Sorry, my arm. <coughs> you saw this earlier. When I'm holding the camera up for too long, um, my arm just starts hurting, so... Um, I just need to get a proper webcam so I can just sort of sit down and record them like that. Um, my computer has a webcam, but, you know, it doesn't have a microphone, so uh, I need to use this headset in order to record myself. 
Um, in fact, in that case, really, what I really need is not a webcam, but a microphone, um, which I think is a little bit more expensive. But I haven't actually checked, so... Another thing I should do when I go to Perth. So that little segment, that little change with uh, the game, you have the game as the main screen and then little me in sort of box. So that is what my gaming videos will look like. It will be the game uh, screen with little me in the corner or at the bottom of the screen or whatever. Uh, that's how it was uh, with Minecraft Hard Mode Survival, of which there are only nine episodes and there will probably never be more of that particular series of Minecraft. But if I can get constru Kerbal Construction Time working, then there will be a series of Kerbal Space Program. And then, eventually, once I've gotten my computer fixed, um, there will be uh, a series of Minecraft ones again. And that is the end of the first week of vlogs! Wow! I've been going for a week. It's been a week since the first vlog. Or the zeroth vlog, depending on which you consider to be the first. I really consider the Monday one to be the first, because that's the first proper length one. Um, even though it was actually probably one of the shortest of all of them. Um, but yeah, that was the start. And yeah, I've enjoyed this week. I've enjoyed it much better with the with this vlogging than I was without. And I think it's great just filming my life, bits of my life, and just sort of putting up here on YouTube and just having it out there. And you catch all these small events, things like cooking rice, burning pancakes, burning my thumb. It's perfectly fine now, by the way. And I'm hoping in future to catch more small events and be able to put more in these vlogs, because... Um, because, you know, these vlogs are relatively short, they're less than 15 minutes long, although I think this one's going to be longer. While, you know, Life of Tom, those vlogs are always, or almost always, 20 minutes or more. He's often, he's often made 35 minute vlogs, which is really incredible. So yeah, here's to a good first week and to many good weeks to come. And that's it for this week and this particular vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like if you liked, and a comment if you have something to say. Subscribe if you want to see more, and ding that bell if you want to know exactly when I upload a new one of these. And uh, I'll catch you guys and gals later.